domestic home video became a reality. In the last two years, thousands of video rental shops have sprung up all over the country. Anywhere would have videos. The companies that were buying the films half the time didn't even know what they were buying because some insane movies came in that would never have got a release otherwise. Certainly the titles of the works themselves are a catalogue of depravity. All videos had no classification whatsoever. There was no censorship, effectively. The complete, unexpurgated, unedited, uncensored version. To avoid moral panic, keep repeating. They, they were, were only the movies. There was a huge amount of unrest in society. There was mass unemployment. There was the violence of the Falklands War. All these things were compounding, and they needed something where they could stand as the moral stalwarts. There was no need for them. They were unnecessary, and they were evil. They could explain riots. They could explain deviation. They could explain child abuse. They could explain the rising crime, all kinds of crime. Video nasties were a general purpose explanation of moral decline. The Daily Mail decided that the, our children were all going to grow up as mass murderers. They were only movies. What was the MP's reactions to what you showed them? I think they were horrified by what they saw. You had members of parliament being physically sick, having looked at them. Once we had secured a conviction on them, we would take them for destruction, an incinerator at Edmonton. It was close to book burning, but with videos. In court, a solicitor for the Director of Public Prosecutions called the material an extravaganza of gory violence, capable of depraving and corrupting those who watched it. Video nasties are so widely available that 45% of children aged between 7 to 16, that's 3 million children, have seen one or more of the banned films. These figures are 100% accurate. It was fraudulent. It was fake. But it was sufficient, with the other things that they said in that report, to get that thing unargued through the House of Commons. They were all this collection, in fact, effectively enshrines the list of the 72 titles that, at one time or another, were on the Video Nasties list. If you're pu a purist, these are the only films you can call Video Nasties. Nothing will prepare you for the horror of these butchers of the damned. Nothing will protect you. Ladies and gentlemen, the bloodiest thing that ever happened in front of a camera. But it is, it is like some kind of rites of passage to experience that, to go through those films. Coming soon to a theatre or drive-in near you. OK, what was the only British film to end up on the Video Nasties list? Time's up. It was Expose, which was passed with slight cuts in 1975 by the BBFC, but uncut on video. Here's the original gatefold sleeve. There's a sort of footnote to this film which actually rendered it unworkable as a British release. The battlefields may have changed, but the killing continues. And that's that the, the evil vigilante group's signature tune is a, a library track called Approaching Menace, which here is better known as the theme from the quiz show Mastermind. Doesn't that scare you? No, I don't have no nightmares or nothing. <laughs>